little girl, I, I had music surrounding me all the time. And I had a piano at home. My father used to play as an amateur pianist uh, some Chopin waltzes uh, all the time at home. And my mother used to sing for me when bathing me uh, some Puccini operas. Um, so I grew up in the ambience of, of music. And my sister used to play guitar as well and play the piano. So actually my mother asked me whether I was interested to have some piano lessons because I was uh, jumping around the piano, of course, like every kid does. It's like a game, like a toy. And I said, of course, yes, I would love to. I enjoyed very much the process of realizing that I was becoming better a little bit every day. So I have to say that I was not that kid that had to be pressed or pushed by their parents to practice. They actually have to thank my parents for that because they were very wise and they let me just choose what was the best for me and uh, I really enjoyed the process of playing the piano very much since the very beginning. that are included in this album show many different aspects of Chopin music. We have a group of mazurkas, of waltzes, which show uh, maybe a certain aspects of, of Chopin compositions. Some of them are very delightful and some of them are a bit more melancholic. And I do believe that even if in these very sparkling and happy uh, pieces, uh, still Chopin has a certain melancholy hidden somewhere there. I don't exaggerate maybe if I say that uh, thanks to Chopin music I was born because uh, my father was playing some Chopin during a party and my mother noticed my father at that time. So uh, then, um, as I said before, I had this um, Chopin music sounding all the time at home through the Rubinstein recordings because my parents uh, are big lovers and fans of Rubinstein and uh, the collection, the Chopin I love. Um, so I remember this music sounding in the car, in the kitchen, in the living room, everywhere. Chopin is a composer that can be appreciated for so many different reasons. Uh, maybe the most well-known face of Chopin is the light one, the entertainer one. I would really love, through this recording, to give the possibility to people to discover this darker face of himself, which I, I was very much in love when I discovered, and I, of course I'm still, I, I am. Um, this this uh, incredible possibility that he can take you to the heaven or bring you to the deepest sorrow of existence in, in, in a very short amount of time. And, um, and most of all, I think that uh, Chopin speaks directly to the heart of people somehow. <laughs> 